if you have ever wanted to create an effect like this on Android Studio, such as uh, dealing with particles like uh, confetti, like just like that, then you, can, you have come to the right place. So without wasting your time, I'm going to add an empty activity here and I will call it confetti and then I will finish. So it doesn't matter, you can start a new project or you can just add this activity on the activity that's already there. So I'm going to add two, two particles that will represent confetti. One will be white, another one will be pink or purple, I don't know, pink, yeah. So I will just copy them to my drawable folder there. And then, and for this tutorial, and for this tutorial, I'll be using this um, this dependence from Place of Leonids. You can check it out on the GitHub for more information. And for people who don't like to write codes, so you can just copy and paste there. As you can see, there are so many explanations. So I will add the we add the, uh, the dependence first. Implement. I've already copied this, so I will just paste it like that, and then I will sync that uh, and wait for Gradle to finish. Okay, so it's done now, and so I will go back to my confetti. I got my confetti activity confetti, and from here I will just I just copied the the xml codes from the github page so as you can see i will just remove that uh, button because I, I will not be using it uh, on my tutorial here and right now i'm in confetti java and down so i will add a new particle new particle system as you can see the context will be this and now when you're following this you you, you, you need to know that um, these numbers you need to think of how they can suit your product pro project so I won't put much emphasis into them now drawable I've added the confetti 2 which is one of the particles that are one of the images that I've copied to my drawable folder and time to leave will be 10,000 milliseconds you can choose any time that you want we will add speed and range. Okay, speed of 0f, speed maximum to it goes from 0f to 0.1f, and angle 0 up to 0. Set rotation speed, which will be 144, and then you are going to set acceleration also, which will be 0. Zero, zero, zero. I put it a very minimum acceleration. There's, yeah, zero, zero, zero point. Now, uh, like I said, all these numbers you need to tweak them yourself so that uh, it suits your project. For me, I'm just doing it just for the sake of tutorial. So personally, I'm not trying to be so precise on these numbers. So. I, Anyway, you can just check uh, check out which one is works better with you. I mean, you can put the numbers and then you can treat them yourself. Okay, so now we are going to emit the particle, which you, is the one we defined uh, on the layout file, confetti.xml, activity confetti.xml, which is find view by, by id, r.id, emit at top left. And we need to also set the particles per second. Now uh, we have this particle, the first particle. Now I will copy it and uh, change uh, some, change the image for the confetti so it's gonna be white. And also I will change it so that it's not from left, but the one that's redefined as emitter top right. All right, so I think uh, for now we are almost done. Let's see how it goes. Okay, this is how it goes on our emulator. It looks good, although not really fine. We can make it better. 
Thank you. Bye-bye.